fingers are pointed, his palms are spread. The look on his face, he's very, very ready to start this body massage. Now, what is up, Joe Crew? It is me, Joe Crew DMD, and I'm here today with the first ever SPR story. It's the card that got me into the Dragon Ball Super card game. I saw this card on display in Comic-Con way back when, and I just thought, this is the most beautiful Dragon Ball thing I've ever laid my eyes on. So I gotta tell you guys the story of it. You know, I've traveled to Japan, I've searched for Goku all over the place, but this one, whew, takes the cake. Anyway, guys, if this is your first time here and you're enjoying the story so far, please take the time to hit that subscription button. It really helps me out. And if you're a returning member of the Joe Crew, thank you guys. And let's get into this. So this is the story of my favorite Dragon Ball Super card. I think this is the most beautiful Dragon Ball card ever printed. Many may argue with me, but I've stood by that claim and I continue to stand by it. So I gotta tell you guys the story of Son Goku, the height of mastery. Yes, this is an SPR from set four. You know, there's a lot of confusion around this card. What is going on in this image? Why are Goku's hands in this position? Why does he have this look on his face? And I'm gonna explain all of that to you guys here today. We really need to go into detail and dive into what is going on this in this card and why. So you can see from the position of Goku's hands, he's clearly about to start a body massage. And you can see the way that his fingers are pointed, his palms are spread, the look on his face, he's very, very ready to start this body massage. Now, the thing that's obviously gonna be speculation is what kind of body massage are we talking about? Are we talking about Lomi Lomi, Shiatsu, deep tissue, a Swedish massage? There's so many different types of massage styles out there. But I think it's safe to say that he is going to be using the rolfing technique. So the rolfing massage technique comes from a massage that was developed by Ida Rolf in the 1920s, 1930s. The rolfing technique focuses on deep, deep tissue and myofascial release. The myofascial release is the important part about this. If you guys remember in Dragon Ball Super, when Goku goes Ultra Instinct, he starts doing movements where you don't actually see the attacks he's making and you just see the damage that's reaped on his opponent. So what Goku is doing is he's massaging his opponents into submission. And he's actually been doing this for pretty much the entirety of Dragon Ball, but he's been practicing his massage techniques so much, as you see from the different ways that he's impacted his opponents, that he has finally mastered his massage technique, which is the rolfing technique, which we've learned about. And he, when he masters this technique is when he finally masters Ultra Instinct. It kind of happens simultaneously. And Goku realizes that the only way that he's going to be able to defeat Jiren is with the ultimate massage technique. So you can see here that he is positioning himself so that he is getting getting ready to give this massage to Jiren. A lot of the card's skills suggest what I'm talking about here. You can see he does have deflect. The, the patient or the whoever is receiving this technique, this is something they shouldn't be trying to work their way out of. There's no way to counter this. This is something that's necessary for their life. And when you need a massage, you need to recognize that you deserve that and you need to treat yourself to it. So the deflect cancels out any chance that whoever is scheduling with Goku for this appointment isn't gonna be canceling last minute, that there won't be any counters. They're gonna be showing up for this massage. And he does have triple strike and dual attack. So this is a triple rolfing technique, deep tissue push. When this card turns sideways, the massage technique actually gets to go twice because it has dual attack. And since it has triple strike, the hits that are happening, they're running very, very deep into the myofascial planes and trains. This rolfing technique is really focused on going deep and using you know your knuckles and elbows and really using a lot of force which is what Goku does he uses an excessive amount of force in his massaging techniques which sometimes even leaves his patients or opponents completely knocked out now it also has an auto skill that when you play this with swa choose up to a total of three of your opponent's battle cards and or energy ignoring barrier and switch them to rest mode Goku is about to bestow a massage upon his opponent or his patient three cards getting rested is essentially the same as somebody, you know, showing up at the massage table and effectively laying down because they are switching themselves to rest mode. It's time for you to lay down on the table and I am going to use this master rolfing massage technique that I've been practicing well over 10,000 hours. So the height of mastery has been reached. Goku is going to be giving the ultimate full body massage using the rolfing technique, not to be confused with raffle. Raffle is a completely different concept. The rolfing technique is a massage 
massage technique that focuses on deep, deep tissue and myofascial release, which Goku has uh, been practicing for the entirety of the time that we've known him. Now, all that being said, we are gonna need to take a close inspection of this card because it is gorgeous. Now, oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, wow, you can really see everything. You really see the detail. Holy hexagon, holy, oh my god, wow. This is the sort of thing that just bends your eyes out of whack because it is so shiny. But they isolated Goku's hair to be different from the from the card foiling texture pattern. This is just, it's just an absolutely gorgeous card and it, there's no way to deny. Oh, 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 whoa, wow, whoa, oh my god. Oh, wow, that is a, that is a dangerously nice looking card that we gotta really get a close look I really look into that there well guys i hope you enjoy how beautiful this card is because i really really think this is one of the most gorgeous dragon ball cards that's ever come into existence and i am just grateful to have a copy of it uh that's been our spr story i hope that was helpful for you guys i hope you learned a little bit about the history of uh massage and kind of change your perspective on on what goku's doing in terms of not always just defeating his opponents but actually providing some level of care for his opponents and giving them a deep tissue body massage that generally ends up teaching them some you know really deep lesson about how i am a dentist i can't end without doing a dental tooth tip you know i mentioned developing a hygiene routine unique to you is something that's important but i'm happy to talk about what my ideal hygiene routine is first thing in the morning i always brush my teeth before breakfast and i spend two minutes brushing my teeth with this powered toothbrush this is a sonicare powered toothbrush this is what i use it has a signal on it it tells you when you need to change your head it tells you when you brush for two minutes I start in the upper right corner, I go around the arch, I go around the inside of the arch, I go around the arch on the outside on the lower, I go around the arch on the inside on the lower, and then I do the biting surfaces. Any remaining time I work on the lower inside in that area. After those two minutes, I rinse, I go ahead and I eat my breakfast. And at night, I start flossing early. So as soon as I'm done eating for the day, whether I've just finished dessert or whether I've just finish dinner and I'm not having dessert because I'm trying to watch my figure, I will get my flosser, put a new head, put a new head in my Listerine Ultra Clean flosser, as you can see here. And once that head is in there, I just start flossing and I will spend sometimes hours flossing because it's mindless and I'm not doing it actively the whole time, but I'll sit on the couch for as long as I'm watching TV or reading manga or looking at YouTube or whatever it is. I just floss away and floss, 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 really work on all the different angles, find the different spaces and, and ways that you can get between the teeth and really generate force to clean each line angle and each surface interproximally so you're really getting a nice clean with your flosser. And if you're doing it on the couch and you're not doing it while you're, you know, sit, sitting in the bathroom in front of the mirror or whatever, it's a lot easier to spend time with it and you can get a much longer flossing session in which can really benefit you in the long term. After I finish flossing, I go in the bathroom, I brush for two minutes, I rinse, I wash my toothbrush, I wash my flosser, I put it all away, and I put my retainers in, and I am ready for my, my dream adventure on the Holy Hexagon. So that is my brushing routine, brushing, flossing, hygiene routine. If you guys have any questions about that for me, please leave them in the comment section. I'd be more than happy to answer them. And if you have more questions about uh, dental tooth tips, you know, drop a question in the comments. I'm more than happy to answer those. I hope you enjoyed this SPR story. It is my favorite, most beautiful Dragon Ball card ever. I mean, you know, my signed signature Goku is my most prized possession, but in terms of the art alone, this card has just, it's done a lot for me and I hope it does a lot for you. Uh, thank you guys for watching my show and I will see you guys.